Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all earth signs. Perhaps your story isn't here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the Seven of Cups clarified by the Six of Cups. We have the Moon, we have the High Priestess, and we have uh, the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces. So you're going to receive um, some communication with somebody from the past over the weekend. And uh, it will confuse the heck out of you. <laughs> It'll even, uh, you know, make you a bit depressed with the moon card. But the moon card could also be about fears and uncertainty. So the, your first reaction was going to be confusion and you just don't know what this person wants from you. This person from the past. And it could be about love, it could be about work, business, finances. Uh, anything pretty much anything goes in this spread but the main idea is that somebody is coming back from the past they will message you with the uh, eight of ones it could be a text message an email or a phone call right and uh, yeah it'll put you into this uh, headspace of uncertainty well we have the high priestess here what I think the high priestess is telling you since this is uh, all about intuition the High Priestess wants you to analyze it in the way that uh, this person will most likely want the same thing with you they wanted with you in the past. It's the same thing. It could be bad or it could be good. So whatever you went through with this person in the past is going to be the same freaking thing <laughs> if it's bad. Or if they want to offer you something good, then yeah, it's going to be the same thing. That's what I think the High Priestess is here to uh, let you know. <clears throat> so, yeah, analyze this. Don't stress too much about it because uh, it's going to be... As soon as you put that into perspective, it'll become very, very clear to you. All right? All Earth signs. <laughs> That's what we got for you. Taurus. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an earth sign, another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So this spread could be about both love or work, business, and finances. And I see a progression here from the Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. A very heavy earth presence, or it is about money in one way, in one shape or form or the other. So the Page of Pentacles is an offer. It's a small offer. Perhaps this is beneath your, or below your pay if this is about a new job or a new project or a new investment opportunity, right? So you'll most likely decline it because you, you say, you know what, no, definitely not. And uh, they're going to go back to their drawing board with the Four of Swords and uh, do some magic on the numbers, especially if it's a new job offer or a new investment opportunity, right? And then they will come back with the, the upgraded offer with the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a more serious offer and you'll tell them, you know, this is, yeah, now I, now this deserves my attention with the Knight of Pentacles, and uh, I think you will eventually um, sign whatever they offer you uh, with the Tea of Cups. Tea of Cups is all about uh, establishing an agreement or signing a contract, starting a new job, you know, basically signing some kind of paperwork. All right, so, um, yeah, this looks good as long as you don't uh, cave in right away. Let them let them go back and uh, you know think about it, make it better, make it more presentable. Or if this is about love, then pretty much the same thing can be said about love. Page of Pentacles is a small offer, but uh, that offer will be rejected. This person or you, because there's a lot of earth energy here, this person will go back and they'll come back with a more serious, more grounded offer. Uh, and then that offer will be accepted with the T of Cups. And whoever is on the receiving end, they are, there is uh, there is definitely um, feelings there because the T of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. This is soulmate love, unconditional love. Well, not exactly unconditional, right? Because <laughs> uh, the offer is not going to be accepted right away. So there will be small conditions here. But ultimately, T of Cups is all about two people being on the same page and... Uh, 
feelings are actually being mutual after all. It's just that uh, the person making the offer will have to step up after the first, after the initial offer is rejected. All right, but the outcome is great. Two of Cups is fantastic in, re in regards to both work or business or love. All right, sounds good, Taurus. Virgo, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Five of Swords, and we have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, we have three cards of Swords, so you could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is either all about building a solid foundation, starting something together, working on a team with somebody, or it could be a th about a third-party situation. So, um, unfortunately, uh, the end result is going to be still the same. Um, something is either coming to an abrupt end, or if there is a person coming back around wanting to reconcile with you, wanting to rebuild this relationship from the ground up, then uh, the offer will be rejected. So it's either one of those two, but the uh, the end result is still the same. The end. Somebody is walking away with the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending. So I don't really see this going anywhere, unfortunately. Right? Either a third party situation or somebody wants to reconcile and it's not going anywhere. That's what I have for you, unfortunately. But, you know, as I always say, Virgo, um, we are in each other's lives to make those each other's lives better. If that doesn't happen, then yeah, move on, find something better for you. There's got to be at least one person on this planet who will treat you right and uh, make you happy. There it always is. Capricorn, we have the King of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands, we have Temperance, and we have the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus Virgo, or not a Capricorn, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, so Temperance is either a Sagittarius you're dealing with, or this is you healing from something. But I think this whole spread is all about you uh, taking some time off, taking some time out, because you either got overburdened, overwhelmed, or you just burned out. You know, you need some time alone you need to you need time to recharge um, it's actually kind of similar to the Libra reading you could be dealing with a Libra but you know it doesn't have to be so the idea here is that um, this is you the King of Pentacles Capricorn male or female absolutely doesn't matter the ten of ones is a card of a burden perhaps you've worked your butt off during the week and now you need to heal now you need to chill <laughs> Now you need to uh, relax with the Temperance card, right? Because uh, we also have the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a wounded warrior, but I think in this case you're just done. You, you really need to heal. It doesn't really mean that you'll be spending time by yourself. You could be spending time with your significant other or people closest to you. Uh, it's just that you don't want to get yourself into a very active situation. You don't want to like go to a party you don't want to see too many people you just want to chill that's that's what I see here you just want to relax and recharge all right Capricorn so hopefully um, this is gonna <laughs> help you to um, relax during this weekend and um, you can come back on Monday revitalized revitalized and feeling great again and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.